Utilizing text on S3 is actually a really common scenario and there's a variety of useful techniques and strategies to use it as kind of like a data store to communicate to other pieces of infrastructure. Obviously JSON, JSON's one thing you can put up there. So we have a JSON file here with foo and bar. There's other text files you can use for lock files to signal that a process is complete. Just a variety of ways. I like JSON the best just because everyone speaks it and putting text files is such a common thing to do. And S3 supports large files. So a lot of these JSON files, even if they're anywhere from kilobytes to megabytes, it's still not a big deal at all for S3 to read. When you're putting a file, instead of reading it as binary, we'll put some, some data and we'll open it and we'll say, that data, that JSON. But instead of reading as binary, we're gonna read as raw text. And that's gonna give you a stream. We don't want that. So we wanna read the actual contents of the data stream. And so just, you know, raw text, that's all it is. And if you wanted to, you could literally paste it here, like copy and paste that, but we're just gonna use the raw data from this text file. Cause I think it's important to see that, that, that JSON you're gonna get. But instead of reading it out, so let's ignore the response now. Let's go ahead and read that response. So we'll go response, client git object and copy pasta. And what we're interested in here is the body. So we're gonna get the raw text which is response. And as you know, it comes in in the body and it's a streaming body. So you want to read it out. So let's print it out real quick just before we start parsing it. I just want to get you intimate with a variety of JSON types that the SDK sends. So we'll go Python main pie. It's going to read our text file, upload it to the bucket, then immediately read it back. And we're going to parse out this stuff from JSON. So let's run this. I want to show you that it's got the byte text, which is great. And let's get some JSON, AKA JSON. We'll go to Python, import their native JSON parser, JSON loads, and we'll get the raw text and print out the JSON, which will make it a Python dictionary if all goes well. There you go. So you got a Python dictionary and we can even read out the foo part just to verify it's hundred percent there. There you go. So that is a common way to write text to a bucket and read it back out and parse it. And if you want, we can take even the raw text. If you want to see something very similar, we'll get rid of this. Just go ahead and put it right in there as raw text. Run it again and you get the same exact result. It's just another way to do it. Really fun way to upload text files, use it as a data store, communicate via JSON. S3 is very flexible, has a lot of uses, and this is just tip of the iceberg. So that at least shows you how to, to read and write text.